Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Salagia, which I believe is a Latin acronym for the Seven Deadly Sins. Anyway, in this game I'm going to be playing as someone called Moses who's committed the sin of anger, and for that, he's going to be punished. If you want to be punished, look down below in the description, the links and the details are going to be down there, alright? Really hope you enjoy it, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, whichever one you do, it helps me out. But here we go, we're starting a new game. On... medium, I guess? <laughs> Fantastic choice of font, and yes I am kidding, but hi, I'm Moses. I was born in 1982. I can't distinguish between dreams and reality, which could be an issue. I also can't control my anger. I don't want to hurt my loved ones. Okay. Okay, so is it the Salagia or the Salagia? Still not really sure, but however it's pronounced, it looks like we're in. Okay. Oh, good stuff. Oh. Ah, okay. Well, maybe not as good as I first thought. I do have a flashlight and I can collect it, but there's also a battery that can be used on a flashlight. Oh. Is that that bar in the bottom right, do you think? Uh, okay, it looks like we've got some controls here. They look fairly standard, fairly typical. There's an inventory, combine, discard, jump, crouch. Okay. Um, oh, it seems if we press R we actually reload the flashlight's batteries? Yeah, okay, which probably means we're not going to get uh, a weapon. Oh, wonderful. Am I going to get punished like you? Hmm. Alright, so a battery meter. Bit of a shame, but I'll deal with it. Uh, what's this over here? And what's this, actually? Oh, it's a note. Okay. Uh, Lord, we're begging you to get out of here. Or possibly we're begging you to get us out of here. Please show us a way out. And then I think it's the same thing in Turkish, possibly? Not really sure, but uh, Julia, Fred, Angela, Smith, James and William all wrote this. They each penned a word. They took two people from us today. We are very sorry as a group. Okay. They were very close to us today. Voices came from the iron door. I listened to them using the paint can. They were talking about a stranger. He committed a great sin and that is why he brought it. I guess I'm that stranger. Okay. And this? Oh, I see. This is how we save. I don't think I've really made enough progress yet to warrant saving, but, you know, maybe later. Maybe later. It's good to know. <laughs> okay. Is that... Is that a head in the cement mixer there? Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. We've got another note here. Uh, it's been a long time since our last post. Now I'm taking these notes for sanity and the last sinner. I can't take it anymore. I'm the only one. They took all my friends. I miss them all so much. Right, yeah, just down to Julia, it looks like. I decided to go from here. Uh, I'm writing to you, which has not reached me yet. Uh, I'm writing to you, which has not reached me yet, because I have no one left but you. I can't stand it. Right, I <laughs> don't quite understand that. Maybe an issue with the translation. But, uh, okay, alright. And what's this? I wish it had some water in it, but alas, it does not. Never mind. Yeah, no water, but lots of blood. Loads of blood. And a foot! <laughs> we got a head, we got a foot, and lots of blood. But we also have a way out of this basement. So let's go up, shall we? So where do you think I am? Do you think this is real? Or is this a dream? I can't differentiate between the two, remember? Whichever one it is, that is a very thick chain. I don't think I'll be getting through, no. What have we got here? Oh! Heads in boxes! Wonderful, wonderful. Hang on. Oh, oh, can I get this open? Am I going to find a third head? <laughs> or a fourth, I suppose. Uh, can't seem to get it open. It would probably just be a head, so let's just leave it there. So much blood. Yeah, alright, well, um, let's go through here. Alright. 
Looks like I'm being invited in. Yeah, I am. Um, I don't think this is real. I think this is inside my head. And I think I can't go back, damn. Maybe I should have saved after all. <laughs> now, what the hell? This flashlight isn't really worth shit, is it? Um, okay. Looks like there's a door over here. Is it locked? It's locked or blocked or something. Uh, we got a few cupboards, cubby holes. They almost look like lockers. Can we get this open? Uh, I don't think so. Another door? Also locked. Alright. Oh, I suppose it's better than nothing, isn't it? There's another door over here. Or maybe we can get the shutter out of the way. Mm, if that's what this is. Let's try this. Oh, okay, that works. Oh, I see. We have the headbutt doors to go through them. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was loud. What the hell was that? Oh. <laughs> Someone's peeking around the corner. Hello, who are you? I take it you're not Julia. Not very talkative, are you? But very loud. Right, um... Let me go in here. Okay. Is that one of the seven dwarves? I think it might be. What's this? Oh, it's like a little drawer diorama or something. Is that of this room or a room somewhere nearby? Hmm. Okay. Can't have a look at that one. Do all doors close by themselves in this game? Uh, maybe. At least I wasn't locked in. Right. Okay. What we got here? We, uh... <laughs> we have a pet key! A pet drawer key, apparently. Not a hamster or a guinea pig, but okay, cool. And what's this? Oh, well, hang on, uh, there you go, another battery, and I think another note, too. Sounds too scary. I haven't gotten very far since those voices came out. There's a locked door, and that key is somewhere in this room. I have to find it. Right, well, I found a drawer key, but a locked door? Okay. There might be another one. Let's rummage through the blood. Okay. Oh, oh, there's one. It is a wooden door key that doesn't look wooden, so it's probably a key for a wooden door. <laughs> All right. Nothing in there. No. Okay, cool. All right. Anything else? Uh, I don't believe so. Alright, well, yeah, that might be what they were talking about. So, let's go out of here. Um, you're still there, watching. Alright. Could it be for this one? Would this be the wooden door that the key's used on? Right, okay, cool. Alright. This way it is, then. Where's this gonna go? Something here? <laughs> okay. Startled me a little bit, but not incredibly scary. Um, I agree. Alright. Oh, hang on. Uh, is there a way underneath the stairs? It looks like there should be. Did I miss a door back here? I don't think so. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's just go up here, shall we? Alright. What a weird layout this place has. Okay, I guess that's locked. This one? Also locked or blocked. And this one? I don't even know if this is a door. It kind of looks like one, but I don't see a handle and I can't use it, so... Not getting through there. Right. Okay. Uh, well, left didn't work out, so let's go right. Hello? Who is it? <laughs> In here? I'd let you out if I could, believe me. I think I need to find a key or something. Maybe I'll be back. Yeah, maybe I'll be back. Let's go down here. Maybe this goes under the stairs, or to a games room? Alright. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see. What do we got here? We have a boat here. Strange thing to find, but okay. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. What's that, a bike? Radiator? Oh, a note! There we go. Uh, I started to go crazy as soon as I entered the kitchen, where I had just entered to find something. The lights went out and a presence jumped on me. I managed to kill him with William's knife I found on the road. I am so afraid. These cannot be real. Hmm. Okay. Can't have a look at that. Oh, we're on the other side, I see. So, there might be a guy in there. Okay, that's locked up tight. Let's have a little look. Hmm. Ooh! Alright. The lights are off. Where's the presents? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what we got here? Uh, we got some pills! Uh, looks like old, apparently. Looks like old. Sure, sure. Loads more bloods. Not really surprised at this point. Uh, there's... <laughs> there's a battery by what looks like a nest. Can't open the fridge, unfortunately. Anything down there? I uh, don't think so. Uh, okay. Right. Nothing else changed? The lights are still working out here? Okay. Um, anything on that side? I can't really see because this flashlight is terrible. Feels like I'm missing something. Maybe I've missed a key or something, you know? I mean, there's a lot of locked doors and I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Might be something around here. Maybe something inside the nest? <laughs> something in the cup? In the frying pan? Oh, hang on. I got a knife. Alright. What's that? Wait. It's a key attached to the knife. Was that William's knife? Uh, either way, I've got another wooden door key. Fantastic. Turns out I didn't want the knife after all. Just the key. Uh, okay, well, let's look for another wooden door. What about this one? Is that going to work? No? Okay. Um, it could have been one of the ones that I passed, you know, after I went through that basement section. Okay, I can see that the, uh, the battery is now flashing red. Okay, so we've got the inventory, the documents that we found. Um, seven. I have seven flashlights. Oh, I see. That's the battery power, I think. Right. So, yeah. Just a, a wooden door key. Could be for this one. Or maybe this one? I'm actually hoping it's this one. Oh, good. I couldn't think of another uh, opportunity. Alright. And we go back down? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, I think there's a ghost ahead of me. <laughs> I can see his eyes. <laughs> I think that was meant to be scary, but yeah, it wasn't really. That's not really a good sign, is it? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't scared by that either. I just wanted to get out of his way. Huh, yeah, okay. I think I'm going to see a lot of stock effects and assets and stuff in this game, which is a little bit of a shame because, you know, I paid... 15 pounds for this, so I was hoping it was going to be more than that, you know? It might be more than that, you know? Maybe it's just a, a fairly weak start. Alright. Looks like we got another note here. I have to find something to open this iron door. There's an iron door. This? Maybe you mean this. Or maybe it's something through here. Okay. Anything in the bucket? Right. Uh, let's see. Is that another note? Oh no, that's a that's a book, I think. Uh <laughs> I think I just cut short a jump scare, but let me get out of this cuz this is just a book and I I don't think there's a key attached to it or anything like that. Okay. What is that? My friend Bigfoot. 
Where did I see that? There was a poster for that in another game. I think it was one of the Amica games. I think it may have been Find Yourself. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that looks suspicious. Is there something underneath the carpet? I can't seem to use it, so I guess not. Alright, we got Samara over here, I think? Hang on. <laughs> Are you fucking with me? Okay, if you can examine something, there's probably a key attached to it. That's what I'm learning here. Okay, it's another wooden door key. Okay. Good stuff. And there's another note. Uh, corpses and the smell mean nothing to me anymore. I hope these bodies don't belong to my friends. I've hidden some of the things you'll need under the furniture. Ah, okay. I wouldn't exactly call that furniture, but right. Well, unless maybe there is actually something else. Okay, we got a rocket here. And remarkably, that has no keys attached to it. <laughs> it does have a smiley face, though. Uh, okay. Here? No, that's all locked up. Um, there's definitely nothing underneath the carpet. Are you serious? Hmm, okay. Looks like someone tried to hide something here. Can we not move this out of the way? There's no patch or other key or... Hmm, okay. I don't think I can just, like, budge this out of the way or anything either, no. Honestly, maybe I've already found what I'm looking for. I'm not seeing anything else. Right, yeah, that's the poster that I saw in that game. And, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Find Yourself. Okay. I think this must be the iron gate that she's talking about. Oh, hang on. Ah, right. Uh, that? No, 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 no. This is an iron gate, not a wooden door. But, uh, right, it's the it's the chain. It's the padlock there. I get you. I get you. Okay. Well, um, I guess we're looking for a padlock key or bolt cutters or a saw or something like that. But I do have a wooden door key, so yeah, maybe there's maybe there's something back here. I should mention, by the way, this is as fast as I can move. Yeah, I, I don't think I can actually sprint in this game. I'm not really in any rush whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mosey on down this hallway. And we're gonna go up here, and I suppose we're just gonna try another door. Alright, so let's go through here. And this one? Right. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that quarantine poster. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Mmm, okay, well, uh, <laughs> this is nearing terrible indie horror game levels, I will admit. We'll, uh, we'll see if it can redeem itself by the end. Hey, okay, so it, is it bolt cutters? It's probably going to be bolt cutters for the chain. But is there anything else? Any more photos of Samara from the ring? <laughs> Any more keys? I, uh, I, I don't think so. Right. Uh, so I've got to go this way? Yeah, it's this way, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, that's it, down here. Yeah, at this point I'm actually wondering if, um, if the reason I can't sprint is to just artificially pad the game a little bit. Yeah. I guess we'll see. We'll see. I, I shouldn't be so negative, really. And this game does have some positives, but one of them is certainly not the fucking flashlight. It's terrible. How are we doing battery-wise? Uh, we're 38 and we got two left. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that we can get through here now. If I choose this. Oh, <laughs> that may have been the scariest part of the game so far. Absolutely no sound effect and then out of nowhere. Alright. What we got here? Lord, I have no hope left but you now. I can't help myself after what I saw. What did you see? Okay. 
Uh, I'm not seeing any keys or anything. Where are we going? Left, right? So Zombie? Really? Okay. Hmm. Um. I don't. <laughs> oh, she. Okay. I, you know, I, I did pick a difficulty, right? So I was wondering if I was actually going to get damaged. I guess so. Yeah. That was fucking weird. Could I have avoided that? It's not going to happen again, is it? <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, I don't think there's combat in this game, but I guess I can be killed. Up here? Yeah, okay. I really want to map this place out and actually like draw a plan of it, because it just doesn't make any sense to me. This place can't be real. It just can't be. Okay. Who are these two? Hey. <laughs> Anyone else reminded of Outlast a little bit? Through here? Okay. It's very red through here. Uh, let's reload again, shall we? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it seemed like everything hated that idea. Okay. Another note? Yeah, alright. I think they sacrificed my friends here. I see corpses starting to decompose. I'm so scared, I think I'm being watched. The voices keep getting closer. Alright. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, well that, that did start with me. Thanks for the key. This one's for an iron door, apparently. Okay. Maybe that one at the beginning? Could be, right? Could be. Right, well, he's not going to be much of a threat. Um, should we go this way? Uh, I think there was another way to go that way, but okay, let's just, let's just check this out. We can always come back. Where the hell is this going? I hear crying. Yeah, there's crying coming from down here. Wait, did I just... Oh, I think this is actually a shortcut back to the beginning, more or less. So it actually might be that door that I was thinking about. Yeah, it, it might be this one here. Okay. Uh, I'm in two minds as to which way I should go. Should I commit to this or go back? Because there was definitely something else that I didn't have a look at there. Let's check this out first. We've got a hole in the floor and some stairs. Right, we're going down. Oh, battery. Lovely. Ooh, not so lovely. Is this where you think your friends were sacrificed, Julia? Okay. <laughs> Can I sit down? It's been a hell of a day. No? Uh, I see a key. It's another wooden door key. Okay. Is that it? Hmm. I think that's actually it. Okay, well, uh, let's go around this side just in case there is something that I might stumble on. Uh, no, I don't think so. Right, let's get out of here. I, I suppose I do actually have to go back. Yeah. Yeah, if I go back to that red area, maybe there's going to be a wooden door up there? I'm kind of hoping so. Yeah, gameplay is very simplistic, isn't it? It's just go into an area, find a key, go into a new area, find another key. Haunted house-like jump scares. Occasionally you get your nipples bitten off, it seems. Um... I guess it's okay, but for the price, hmm, it's a little bit disappointing at the moment. Right, yeah, up here, what are we going to find? Okay, do I even need the flashlight on at this point? It, no, I don't think I do. It doesn't really help too much in an area that's lit like this. We got a bone saw. Oh. 
Okay. Ah. Oh! Interesting. I okay. What's that down there? Oh, right! Uh, that's another one of those books. That's another save point, isn't it? Shall I? Shall I say thank you very much for watching part one? No, I don't think so. Let's just keep on going. Lord, I beg you, keep me away from this site forever. These humanoid creatures are sacrificing humans, thinking they're following your path. Julia, Angela, Smith, these notes are the only way I can reach you. I will go as far as I can and leave notes for you in case you survive. I miss you. And that's from William. William is still alive, or at least he was when he wrote that. Down here? It's like we're going into a manor or something. What is this? Uh, I haven't found any trace of James and Fred yet. I think they were sacrificed. I'm so sorry. Too many corpses and bad smells in the house. Getting used to the smell is the worst feeling in the world. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I dread to think what burning flesh smells like, really. You didn't do that, did you? Hmm. Maybe I should watch out for lions. Through here? Okay. Alright, well... Left? Let's go left. Something else down here. There's so many notes. Uh, the only good thing in all these evils is that the food is intact. <laughs> okay. Alright. Here. That's locked up. Alright. Got a grandfather clock. Uh, another door at the end. Which doesn't actually appear to be a door, just like the one that I, uh, I first saw. Yeah, some doors just can't even be used, it seems. Fuck me, some of the items in this game are actually really hard to see. I nearly missed that one. Another wooden door key. Another battery as well. Yeah, you really do have to keep an eye out. Jeez, maybe, maybe, just a thought, but maybe some of the items should be highlighted. Or maybe they should be a little bit bigger, a little bit more noticeable. Yeah, I can't go through that one either. Um. Okay, over here. Oh, this one actually does work. And... Oh, oh. The hell is this? What the... Uh... Right? Is this a memory? I guess I'm one of these guys. Moses? Moses? <laughs> one of you? There's something here. It's another battery. Even in some sort of weird memory dream state, I, I can still pick items up. Through here? No, invisible barrier. Alright. Upstairs, maybe? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Another pool table, this time with cues and balls. The other one didn't have those. Jesus Christ. Alright, so a fight broke out. Up here. Alright. <laughs> Got an award, a trophy there. And something else too. Oh, oh dear. It's, uh, it's escalating. Oh, wow. I take it, yeah, I'm the guy with the gun. That's probably Moses. That's probably me. And back to reality. So I just came through here, right? Okay. Well, this is probably where we need to go, but let's just continue going through this. Because we might, you know, we, we would have missed a battery otherwise. And a door that I can't open. <laughs> All these wonderful sights. Right. Um, yeah. And then this one? Can't get through that either. Okay, well, yeah, let's go through here. Let's go through here and let's see what we find. Nice. There's another note. I mean, thankfully the notes are quite easy to see, but they're the only things that are easy to see most of the time. If someone is coming after me reading these notes, there is something he should know. They understand our language, but our alphabet forces them. 
Forces them to what? Hmm. Okay. How are we doing? Down to 14. I've got quite a few batteries. Oh, they stack, do they? Well, why don't they auto stack? <laughs> that would have been a lot easier, in my opinion. There you go. Right. Sorted. <laughs> it's not zombie this time. Yeah, this uh, this isn't a very good game, is it? But I've started, so I'll finish. Okay. Another battery and another note. The paths I followed still did not lead me to a conclusion. On a note paper I found, it was written 1881. But this trick didn't work on the keypad. But it'll come in handy in the future. I have to keep that in mind. What is that sound? I have to hide. 1881. Okay, remember 1881. Will do, will do. Pretty big area by the looks of it. Oh god, look at all this. All this detail. I'm sure there's something hidden somewhere on this table. <laughs> there's just gotta be, right? Nothing inside the, you know, the, the glasses, the bottles. On the chairs, no keys, nothing like that. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Can't go through there. Um, yeah, it's a very big area. It really has changed. I mean, the environment has changed. Like To the game's credit, I suppose. It's changing it up a little bit. It's keeping it kind of interesting. This is one of those doors that just doesn't work. Uh, okay. Oh, there's something there. But unfortunately, I'm a little bit too fat, so I can't get through. Oh, hang on, hang on. Ooh. Oh, I bet I bet you anything there's a key in here. Um, I take that back. Yeah, you never heard anything. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's go around this way. Uh, Julia, Angela, Smith, you won't believe... The sounds I hear belong to a human voice. The sound is more like one of them, but it doesn't matter. What I see will be useful to you too. Together with a jerk, they wrote down some numbers in the box and locked it. I guess I need to get to it in that box on the code locker. Okay, right. This is where 1881 doesn't work, but should still be remembered. Numbers in a box. There's numbers in a box. Box on the closet. Okay. Would you call this a closet? <laughs> I don't know. And is it somewhere in this room specifically? Maybe up here? Okay. Uh, can I get you out of the way, maybe? Can I squeeze through? No, again, I'm too fat and I'm just too lazy to move these guys out of the way. Huh, okay. Oh, look, 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 look. Yeah, this is it, isn't it? Okay, gotta be very, very specific. I'm just gonna try 1881. Error, so yeah, it actually doesn't work. Um, but it's gonna be a four digit code. And where's this go? Up the stairs? Right, just back to the area that I, uh, I came from. Uh, yeah. It, is the code in this room? The box? Let's just go through this again and make sure for sure. You know? Oh, okay, there's a battery. Oh, no. You see what I mean? The items are so well hidden in this game. And I don't think that's necessarily a compliment. It. Okay, well, a, a padlock key. I've got a padlock key. There's also a bottle. Which doesn't actually feature a padlock, so I don't really know where to use the key, but... I guess I missed the padlock, too. Wait, didn't he say that they locked the box? Yeah, okay. Might be looking for the box at this point. Wait, let me... Documents? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Box on the closet. On the closet. It's not actually mentioned, like, that there's a box on the closet, but apparently there's a box on the closet. Is there a closet around here? Mm. 
Oh, hang on. Could be something up with this statue. Then again, maybe not. I'm just going to put that back. <laughs> uh... I think this is it. This is it, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm actually glad I, I, I took notice of what that was titled, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have looked up like that. Uh, but we do have a piece of paper, and it says 1938. Okay. 1938. Let's try it. We're making some progress. Right, you can barely see the keypad, because you got the fucking flashlight on, right? Uh, 1938. Yeah? It's gone green. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, there's a little bit of a gap here. I see. Swish. And what have we got here? What is that? That is a half circle. It's a part of something. Not very specific, but okay, I suppose we need to find the other part. And this? Another wooden door key. Uh-huh. Right. I don't think there's anything else. Now, which wooden door would it be? There's one over there. There's maybe a couple back in that hallway that I came from. That one over there doesn't work, does it? Uh, well, let's try this. And this one it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Down into another basement. All right. Oh, really? Can I not take this? No, I, this is why they should auto-stack. And then this? Do I need this anymore? 1938? Uh, I... I'll note that down! Yeah, you go, I've, I've just noted that down. But can I just discard it? There you go, free up some slots so I can pick up more batteries. There you go. Honestly, I mean, with the amount of batteries that I've got, like, what's the point even putting the batteries in the game? And that's often my thoughts on the battery system in horror games. Like, what is the point? Alright. Okay, that just never fucking ended, did it? Oh my god. Holy shit, what happened to you? Is that Julia? Man, okay, um... Yeah, let me let me know what you think about this, guys. Are you scared by the scares in this game? I mean, they're startling to an extent, but... Mmm, they're, they're not really... They're not really getting to me. Yeah, it's, it's falling very flat. But hey, look, I've, I've got another key, another wooden door key, and I think I've also found the other half. Yeah, okay, so... Let's see. Combine? Nice! Okay, so I've, I've got a circle made out of metal. What's that gonna be for? And is there something about it that I can note down now? I, I don't think so, although I'm looking at it in the dark, so... Uh, yeah, let, let's try it, like, facing this way? That doesn't really help too much, but, um... Yeah, I, I, I think it's just... I don't know, like a medallion or something, basically. It probably has to be inserted somewhere. Alright. Around here? Can I go through? I can, okay. Yeah, honestly, my biggest fear in this game is getting to a door that I can't open, then looking around for a key for the next five minutes, you know? Okay. I am wondering if this is going to go back to the same room, like that door that I couldn't get through? Uh... No, it's going to go back to the hallway, in fact. Okay. See, if I heard that and then something threatening happened, maybe I'd be a little bit more wary and scared of it. But it's just a sound effect, and it's... <laughs> it sounds kind of silly. Uh, 
I don't actually know if this is the same hallway, is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not sure. What, what about this? Okay, this works. So I've just gone a little bit of a loop, basically. So... Oh, right, so... Oh, wait. Uh, so I don't even have a key. I guess there's somewhere around here where I can use the circle? Somewhere in this loop. Maybe somewhere in this hallway, somewhere in this room, somewhere down there. So... Here we go again, yeah. Let's just... Go over everything again, just in case. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Maybe, maybe down here? It's a pretty big room. Um. I keep wondering if I'm going to find like a, a disc or something to, to play on the gramophone here. Wait, hang on. Where'd those statues go? I have absolutely no idea. Did they move aside when that did? And I just didn't notice? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. What I am doing is I'm going upstairs. Alright. Here we go then. Let's see. This one? No, that's locked. Is that another note? It is. Another one from William. Everything is slowly sitting in my head right now. Why am I here? Why do they want to sacrifice me? God help me. There are shabby books on the floor. I will follow them. There's been shabby books on every floor, pretty much. But, uh, okay, maybe I should do the same. Uh, there's one. Okay, no more keys hidden on the platters, no. Oh, another save point. All right, we, we must be making some progress here, but I'm still refusing to save. I want to do this in one video. Through here? No, it's another fake door. Can't even use it. Uh... <laughs> no keys in this bread. No, all right. The bottle? No. Not having a, a great deal of luck here, really. Let's see. We're going down again? It looks like we're going down again. Can't open that? Nope. Nope. Never mind. Yeah, I had really high hopes for this game, but it has let me down somewhat. I, I, and I don't know if I'm going to be calling this a terrible indie horror game, but I think at this point it's safe to say that I wouldn't recommend it, especially not for the price. No way. Wait, where's this? <laughs> Alright, um... Well, let's see. Let's go through here. We've got a couple of cases. Nothing there? No? No, no, no. It doesn't look like it. Upstairs, then? Yeah, and, and nothing's really drawing me in. Like, I, I don't really care too much about Moses or about Julia or William. The story is not... It's not pulling me in. I don't feel like I'm invested. Is it going to be left or right? It's going to be left, isn't it? Yeah, so... I'm trying to come up with some positives of why I would recommend this game, and I'm not coming up with much, really. And the, the key hunt in most rooms just isn't that fun, you know? If anything, it's a little bit frustrating. You kind of wish it was a little bit more obvious. Wait, there's a... there's a padlock on the gramophone. Oh, is... hang on, is... uh... how do I do this? Is it 1881? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that's great and everything, but it has sort of blocked my escape. This is where that circle goes though, right? just happened. Another bookcase moved out of the way. Uh, uh, yeah, I actually think it did, yeah. <laughs> what we got back here? Cages. Oh. Ooh. Okay, now... 
I was about to say, now I'm a little bit invested. Not anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the fuck happened to you? Alright. Oh, they've all got very strange poses. Oh my goodness. All the cages are full. Man. Okay, under here. Let's reload. Why not? I got the batteries for it. Okay. Left or right? It's gonna have to be left, I'm afraid. It's gonna be this way. It is not gonna be this way. <laughs> Alright. Nothing here? No? Can I go this way at least? Brilliant. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh shit. Run. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, this is all inside my head. I don't know if this is a dream or if I'm in hell or something, but this just isn't right. And it really feels like I should be able to run, but I can't. For whatever reason, I just can't. I'm just not bothered. Is that me there? Just floating in midair? Yeah, I think it is. Right. Oh. A and maybe there's me in reality? And that is the end of the game. Thank for playing. Who should I thank for playing? You? Don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, that's it. That that's a very abrupt and very unsatisfying ending. That was about fifteen pounds. And I don't think I really got my money's worth. That was very disappointing. It was very by the numbers. It was a key hunt for the most part. Just hunting for things in rooms that were really hard to find. Frustratingly hard to find sometimes. And yeah, the story wasn't that interesting. As I said just before that last cutscene played, I'm not bothered. And I'm just not bothered with this game, you know? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a terrible indie horror game or not, but it, it maybe it should be because of the price. If this was free, or if it was maybe two, three, four, five pounds, maybe I could excuse it. But fifteen, that's just too much for what it is. So, uh, yeah. I didn't care for this one, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in another one, and hopefully a better one, very soon. See you then. Okay. Oh, good stuff. Oh. I'm writing to you, which has not reached me yet. Alright. Oh, I see. We have the headbutt doors to go through them. Something here? <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Alright. The lights are off. Where's the presents? Alright. What's that? Wait. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't scared by that either. I just wanted to get out of his way. Oh no, that's a that's a book, I think. That <laughs> Samara over here, I think. Hang on. <laughs> you fucking with me? I'm gonna ignore that quarantine poster. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, where are we going? Left, right? <laughs> I don't- ah! Oh! Gee, can I sit down? It's been a hell of a day. Haunted house-like jump scares. Occasionally you get your nipples bitten off, it seems. And... Oh. Oh. The hell is this? That's just... Okay, that just never fucking ended, did it? Oh! Ooh! Okay, now... 
I was about to say, now I'm a little bit invested. Not anymore.